Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to kill the thing. If you are wondering how to kill this boss for the clan, you will now need to think how many people you want to bring with you. If you're bringing 5 people, this is going to be easy. We actually took a little bit too much of the items, because a scar is a really powerful weapon. I told my people to bring 2 revolvers and 2 scars and 1 AK. There was 5 of us. This boss is enough to kill with 3 revolvers or 4 revolvers. Or 1 semi-automatic pistol and 2 revolvers. But you might need better armor for this, or just use 3 scars or 3 AKs. You can even use shotguns. This is the best option because it does a lot of damage per second. 556 ammo is enough, you do not need incendiary ammo or improved ammo, because incendiary ammo decreases armor and this boss is armorless and has no armor bonus at all. So you can easily use simple armor, no need for incendiary or improved ammo. You will need from 5 to 10 bandages depending how many people there is in the zone. If there is 3 of you, you might need from 20 to 30 bandages also depends on your armor. If you have good armor, you won't need that much healings. If you have crappy armor, you might need more. It still doesn't hurt you guys to bring more healings than just less, because you're not losing anything. Of course, you can die, but there's the teammates that can loot for you. If you feel like you're about to die, leave the zone instantly and come back. The thing won't target you. It will target your clanmates while you try to heal up. So when you heal up, go back into the fight. We found this really easy. Boss wasn't a challenge at all. Because he didn't have any special abilities, he just had 5000 health, which might seem insane for you guys, but it's very simple. Also, it's not really worth killing the boss guys if you have nothing to do in this game, you can go for a try definitely, but I wouldn't recommend killing it if you don't have really good loot yet or high equipment. It's a little bit of waste of time, I suggest doing police station or mall or even subway station and farm sulfur, research parts and gears for your stations at the current moment, save the clan boss for later when you reach really high equipment. When you're ready to kill the thing, one guy goes to the middle and baits the boss. Everyone else just stays at the spawn point. When you enter the area, there's a barricade and a sandbag there. You should notice that. When you lure the boss to the spawn point, no zombies will run to you. If you fight the boss in the middle, zombies will spawn to you and run to you. So I highly suggest doing the clan boss at the spawn point. Now it's just shooting and running. As I said, if you run out of healings, either leave the area, heal up and come back. Or quickly, if you have a really fast hand like me, equip yourself healing and instantly heal up. It should take you one second or even a half of the second. That's it guys, the loot is 500 dog tags, hunter pants, revolver and an AK. Sometimes you can get mercenary pants, mercenary top, mercenary helmet and mercenary boots. Sometimes you can get even a machete, even you can get a scar which is really great loot but sometimes you can get really crappy loot and don't even get that rare loot like an AK. Not really that worth for this kind of loot, 500 dog tags is literally 200 research parts, you can sell 100 research parts for 250 dog tags. Anyways, this is how you kill the clan boss, thanks for watching, in the next video I will show how to do police station, the mall and the subway station for sulfur farms. Goodbye guys.